Hi guys, Cindy here. Okay, so this week I just left the same nails on. I did not redo them. It was real tempting, but we've been walking and I didn't have as much time and they still did good. Um, I took the polish off and I kind of cleaned up the cuticles a little bit and I did put, and right now they are still kind of gimped up, but tomorrow after I shower, all the extra off the skin and cuticles we got. And um, I just put a little gel base coat on and that's all. And then I just repainted them. The paint I used was the Sally Hansen's Blue. It took two coats, it's real sheer, so if you like sheer jelly, you'll like it. I've got this Sally Hansen white, and this was a one coat white. I did these for, with just one coat. Um, this is a Sally Hansen red, and it just took one coat. And then I also used uh, this uh, Sally Hansen dries instantly top coat. I decided I think I like the rubber polish better than the gel because... Gel just takes so long to get off. And I know I'm not looking right into the camera. I'm not really used to this. But anyway, we're fixing to move it down so you can see my nails. What did I get this week? Uh, this is still from last week. It's the Man in Me. We're going to do some stamping. I picked this up at Walmart. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but I have it just in case I, I want it. It's got some pretty uh, patterns, which we might use today. The flowers and the heart. I was kind of wanting something to go with the red, white, and blue theme. I also got, this is probably what we're going to use. If you're on Facebook, you might see people doing this set all the time. I went ahead and got this set, and it comes with little kind of smaller bottles of polish. They're smaller than the regular bottles, but I don't think I'm going to use them today. You know, the blue would be nice, except that it's a little bit different shade of blue. But I do like the plates that came with it. Um, I'm thinking about... Because I don't think I'll do every single nail. I'm thinking about one of these patterns to, for the red, white, and blue. This one right here has got a little heart in it, providing I don't get it upside down. That would not be good. Uh, but this one's got little seashells. Um, anyway, there's just a lot of pretty. We're going to have to do something easy because I'm still new at this, okay? And I did see a... A video or something where you're supposed to wash your little cube off with soap and water so I did that and you're not supposed to file it which I didn't do that but I was using kind of acetone a little bit so I did make a video last week but I didn't post it I didn't think it was very good so let's get started I don't think this is gonna take us very long I'm going to prop up my camera like this hopefully that will be good enough and um paper towel let's see the paper towel okay here's for my new manny set oh and the gel the nails that i did use last week uh were these gelettes and they turned out real good and you know they still still look good i'm still i could do better at putting them on of course but um Next week, we're going to use some 1, 2, 3, Go nails and because I got my base coat in. And so, we're going to use their base coat method and see how we like that. So, um, we can't get too hard because like I knew, like I said, um, I think I would kind of like to try one of these. Maybe this one with the heart on it. And um, did I get, I also got another one. This one's got some black and white if I decide to use that. But I do have some white. We're going to use red with Sally Hansen and we'll see how that stands. So, we'll, and so you'll know. So I'm trying to pull this little blue sticker off. So, you may not know, I did get, do a subscription to the man in me. Because, I don't know, I might end up canceling it later. But you do get first run of the new plates and stuff like that. Okay, so the one I want to use is this one with the heart, with the cross on it. So, oh, let's see, we got to get it right though. We don't want no upside down cross. That would not be good. So, I got me a little um, cup of some soapy water. Plus, I got some acetone. Plus, I got me some chopped up paper towels. So, let's get going. See how this is going to work. Uh, 
Well, hopefully this this was pretty thick, so hopefully it'll be fine. If it's not, then guess what? We're gonna use uh, black. I know the blue is not thick enough. I know that for sure. It was too thin. So, let's try this again. And then, it does look like it transferred. So we want this, while I look at it, Okay, that's what that looked like. And so I'm gonna leave that alone. There's a little bit on my cuticle, but that's okay. That's okay. So. I might do that for the other finger too. So let's get some acetone going on here. So then let's do the other now. And you know what? Um, I think I'm gonna have to top coat them off camera by myself because I didn't bring my top coat down here. But that's okay, I'll just be careful and then I'll just top coat them when I go back upstairs. Okay, so let's try this again on the other one. Oh, you can't see where, let's pull it back. Uh, hmm. I think it'll sit up by itself. I put that box there so that it can hold. I think it'll sit up by itself, though. Sorry about that if y'all didn't see, but you can see on this one. So. Okay. Try this again. Have this little thing here. So I've got it there. We want it to cross up. Alrighty, so that's what that looked like. So that's real pretty. It's really, I think I do better with trying to do the whole nail ones than trying to pick out little designs. And maybe the thing is that, um, uh, what do you say? I need a smaller stamper and, and stuff, but we'll get better, we'll get better. So how about using something on one of these blue and red nails and we will use white. So we'll do a different design though. Um, what's going on here? Um, I do, I mean, I could use the same design, but something different would be good. You know, there's a little design right here that, right here, that's kind of the same pattern. We could do that kind of in the middle of one of the nails. I think that would be good, maybe with some white. And I'm going to use the Selling Hansen white instead of a nail white. I did not bring any of this Manny Me nail white up. But I can open up that box of the stuff I picked up from Walmart. This green. Is that upside down? I don't know. But I think then this. And you guys, this is a lot cheaper. It's like $1.97 at Walmart. So, there's, hmm. It's, so, let's try this again on that one in the middle, right here. I think the, the pattern of it would kind of go with this pattern a little bit that I used. We want something kind of Americana, you know. And I'm gonna put that one on my middle finger. It's kind of thin, but it might still do just fine. I think the thicker might do better, but this was a one coat white. So. Oh, 
Okay, it looks like it does have it on there. So I'm gonna just put this in the middle. Right there. I might have could have done better, but that's okay, that's okay. We're still learning. Um, really, that probably would have been better on the different finger, but that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> okay. I need some acetone for that. Okay, so let's do one for, like it for the other finger that's blue. This little ice cube thing comes out. I guess it's how that you can wash it. Okay, I'm drying it. Okay, let's try it again. See if we can do the other finger. Oh, I'll tell you something in a second. That's what that looks like and try to get it in the center like I did the other one ah. it didn't be good but we're just gonna use water I hope that's the water one I don't want acid home anyway we might just have to Anyway, that didn't work out good. I didn't have that just using acetone, so. I don't want to do too much and rub the blue off. Anyway, we'll leave it alone. Lesson learned. I don't know what I did to make it not work that time. Maybe the, the, it had, maybe the, Thing was wet maybe it just I don't know too thin I really hate to have to redo these fingers okay we'll just leave it alone okay <laughs> there you go uh, it did not like this in that well I probably could do a little bit of this acetone I'm kind of scared to do too much okay just a little bit Okay. Okay, we'll try this one again. And it could be that I had water on the um, on the ice thing, so we'll just clean that off with acetone. We'll just stick with cleaning it off once. Try it again. Well, if I mess it up this time, I don't know if this finger will take two times to get an acetone on it because the polish is not very thick. It was really sheer. Try it again. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Let's try it again. Okay, that did better. I don't know if they're exact, but they're the same pattern anyway. So we'll take some acetone and get this off. And it's gonna get this off. Now what are we gonna do? Okay, so we're gonna leave the pinkies alone. Uh, maybe something on the thumb. What would look good on the thumb? I don't know if I want to use the, um, I do have some more plates here. These little round ones, these are like old antique Conan's or 
I think that's what that's called. Okay. I have this plate here. I picked this up at Walmart. Maybe if something would, one of these like little French tops would go with the, um, sort of go with it. Something maybe with some lines on it. Got a plain one. I don't want anything that's um, like roundish or anything because um, I kind of want it to match the lines. This has got lines here on it. This has got lines right here. What else we got? Bricks. Okay. Um, hmm. Maybe do this here. Maybe will you do that one again and just like you do it at the tip of the um, thumb. And I might take these off and redo these fingers. I'm not thinking I like the way that looks, but for now we'll just leave them on. And I might just make those solids. Maybe just do the ring finger and the thumb. And maybe I will do that one like a French tip. Let's do that one again like a French tip. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Okay, that's what it looked like. So we're just going to do the tip like it was a French tip. Okay, I did okay. There's a little bit on that one side that didn't make it, but that's okay. We'll do this again. Let's clean this off. Or I could leave these on too. I'm not really digging them, but it's okay. I think I'm going to change it. I'll leave the thumb and the middle finger, and I'm going to paint over this these red ones. Off camera. <laughs> okay. 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 One more. Okay, so there we go. Some of the ones I watch on YouTube, it seems like they take their time stamping them on their finger. Ah, that didn't work. I'm doing something wrong. Y'all leave in the comments if y'all know what I'm doing wrong. If it's more, if it's something other than just not using their stamping polish, let me know. Now this poor little thumb. Anyway, we'll try it one more time. If it doesn't work, we're just going to give up on the thumb. Because this thumb didn't have as much polish on it because I gimped up my nails before I was leaving and I did something like super quick just before I left. Try it again. Okay, that one did better. Okay, so I'm gonna, these two fingers here, I'm gonna make those solid and take that off and then I'm gonna top coat them with the smudge free top coat and I'm gonna call that a week. So hopefully I'll get a little bit better and get a little bit more creative. And so that's my nails for the week. I'm hoping these will last me till next Friday and I'll see you guys later.